and everybody today is february 9th 5 30 a.m over on the east coast taking a look this morning at apple taking a look over at the nasdaq futures things are looking good here for both apple and the nasdaq we think apple is about to break out once again and continue its uptrend taking a look at apple chart here on the trading view platform we are Pretty zoomed out here. Looks like we have on our screen dating back to about 2018 to current times. 2018, and then over to the right hand side is our current time frame. Taking a very step back view here from for Apple. The red line on my screen is the 200 day. It is trending up very nice. You can see when Apple gets down to the 200 day, when it pulls back in price, like shown there. And um, let's see, that was 2020, shown again here in 21. And if you look at current times, we had a nice pullback to the 200 day for Apple around the January 24th time frame. So taking a little bit of a closer look here, let's zoom in to Apple. We are above the 50-day moving average on Apple. We are also above the 21-day, which is this bluish purple line on my chart. And obviously, we're well above the 200-day moving average, which is at 149 52. We are looking for a break. Let's see here, horizontal line. We are looking for a break above this area here, this 176 area, give or take a couple dollars. That is what we are looking for. We think if that can happen, Tesla is, or excuse me, Apple is on its way up to all time highs. That's our thoughts, of course, not financial advice. Let's throw some Fibonacci's up here on the Apple chart. We'll take the highs right around there. We'll take this swing low here right around there. This will give us a some overhead projections here for what potentially could play out for Apple in the coming months or possibly longer. Taking a look here at the FIB numbers. So you can see if we get a break above the all-time highs, which is in that 182 range, we are heading much higher into the 200s, 228, 250, 270, much, much higher. Also taking a step back view here, this looks like a beautiful pattern playing out. Basically, just a nice pause in a much higher uptrend here. Like I said, we are looking for that 176 range right in here for Apple to break out and then assuming the NASDAQ and the other market indices continue their rise higher, you should see Apple trading up much higher, all-time highs, $200 plus. So we will see how this plays out. Like I said, 176 give or take a couple bucks, is where we are looking for Apple to break out and hold. And right now this thing is looking beautiful. We think it's heading higher. Let's jump over to the Google Finance. Here is the NASDAQ. So the NASDAQ today, earliest morning, 530 in the morning is up 178. Handles looking good. Let's take a look at Apple pre-market here. Apple is up pre-market. We are trading at $176. We are up 0.76%. So as of right now, if the NASDAQ continues to rise, we believe 
Apple will do the same. Today could be the day we could see Apple break out above that price we are looking for and continue its rise higher. Will it get to all time highs in one day? Highly doubt it. If we have a very, very strong day in the NASDAQ, it definitely could. That would be a big day for Apple. But we think we are in the early stages of the, a much larger move to the upside. And we're keeping our eyes on that 176 range. We have our orders working. We're looking to get back into Apple. Of course, not financial advice. We will have to come back to this video in the coming days and weeks, perhaps longer, and we will see if we were correct here. And if we're not, no big deal. Our stops will take care of protecting our position. Throwing the fibs back on the chart here. Looks nothing like Looks nothing more than a pause in a much, much higher price to come. So it's got a little bit of a cup with handle look to it. It's obviously not perfect, of course, but we have this more of a V cup here, if that's even a thing, pulling back, and then we are looking for a break right above this area here and this morning we're trading at 176 so today could be the day we break out if the nasdaq stays strong and then continues to build throughout the day we will see this thing break out higher and let's see let's see if we are early in a much larger move to come here so far that's what it's looking like it's hard to ignore the chart it's looking pretty bullish and that's our play orders are working in the market found support at the 200 day as well as over here in october as well as back in here in january and that area there so actually excuse me that was june not january so let's see here anybody who has been holding apple long term has obviously done very well we are more of buying and holding positions as they are strong, not while they are weak. And this thing is looking like it's getting ready to be strong once again. So we want to jump on board and take a ride to the upside with this. So we're watching that 176 area. Of course, not financial advice. All right, everybody, keep your eyes on the NASDAQ today as well as Apple, and let's see what happens here. All right, everybody, thanks for taking time out of your day to watch this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video.